Hey guys, so I wanted to tell you about these new job responsibilities that I have at work. Um, I'm still a CNA. I still do work CNA shifts. However, I've also been working other additional shifts on top of that. So like there are certain days when they will have me working as the extra. And so when you're working as the extra, like it depends on what type of extra you are and what shift you're an extra for, like, some of the extras will come in and do, like, showers and laundry, some of them will come in and do, like, kitchen work, and what I've been doing is, basically, when I work the extra, I'll either be working, doing, serving in the dining room, plus doing dishes, and helping in the kitchen, or I'll have like a mix of working in the kitchen plus helping the CNAs that are on the floor with like care if they need assistance. And then also because of the coronavirus protocols that we have in place currently, we are having family visits on the front porch area of our facility. So basically what that means is like family members are time limited. And you've seen in another video where I've talked about like um, how it works doing the visits. So basically what happens is when visitors show up to see their loved ones, I have to be the one with the thermometer taking their temperature and asking them the coronavirus um, screening questions. Like there's a whole list of questions, but it's mostly like, um, have you been diagnosed with COVID-19 or influenza in the last 14 days um, and like have you had a headache, cough, muscle aches or pains, loss of taste or smell, GI symptoms or weakness and then there's like there's like a whole bunch of screens that I have to go through asking them if they have all these symptoms or any of these symptoms and then the system will tell me if they say yes to anything this, the system will tell me that they're not allowed to visit. And that's part of the state of Indiana's guidelines for visitation of assisted living facilities. I'm not sure when that's gonna change or if that's gonna change anytime soon. Um, but as of right now, we have like two socially distanced areas where on one side of the front porch, there's one family they're only allowed to have two visitors at a time. Everybody has to be over the age of 12. Social distance guidelines have to be followed and masks have to be worn the entire time. So like there's one seating area on this side of the front porch. There's one seating area on this side of the front porch. And basically all I have to do is like check them in, do the COVID screening, take their temperature, put it into the tablet and then I sit there and I keep the time for the visit. So they're limited to 30 minutes per visit. And sometimes I do let them stay like maybe five extra minutes, um, especially if like there's been a couple times where family members have brought like dinner for their loved one or something. I'll give them a little bit of extra time if I'm able to. Like if they're the last visit for the day, I'll give them like an extra five minutes so then they can talk and finish their dinner. Um, and like when I'm working in the dining room, because of the coronavirus protocols we have in place, we are doing like multiple meal service times. So there's like, for example, when I work in the dining room, I usually work the mornings. So I'll work like 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And um, so like the first breakfast service is at 7.45 and then the second breakfast is at 8.30 and they have assigned seating, which is all socially distanced. Um, and like we do the same for every single meal. So it's just kind of confusing, but once you kind of understand the whole process and where things are supposed to be, how things are supposed to be, where people are supposed to be, you kind of catch on to it pretty quickly. <clears throat> but I just think it's cool that they are allowing me to help in so many different aspects um, in so many different areas because like I've only been there a little over a month at this point 
and um you know i just think it's cool that they trust me enough to give me these extra added responsibilities and also they moved me from majority assisted living shifts to now i am majority memory care shifts which is fine with me but i also kind of wish they would give me a little bit more assisted living because i've formed a bond with some of the residents in assisted living and so it's going to be kind of hard for me to not ever be up there really um but the reason they moved me back to memory care more than being in assisted living is because like i have experience doing activities and i'm going to make a separate video talking more about like what they expect from us at my job um those of us who work in the memory care setting because they expect a little bit more out of us than they do the assisted living CNAs. Um, so if you work back in memory care, there's additional things that you need to be doing that assisted living doesn't necessarily have to do during the week. And I'll go into more detail in that in that video where I talk specifically about that. And it has to do with activities. So um, if you're interested in that, stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share that news with you guys. Hopefully you all are having a great day. Um, I've been super busy. And then since I hurt my ankle, I'm off. Well, I've been off. This will be the fourth day that I've been off. Um, and even though I'm not supposed to go back until Friday, I am going to go in um, to work tomorrow to do family visits only. And they're going to have to bring people out to the patio um, or the porch to me because I can't really be on my foot very much still um, until Friday. So it is what it is. But I told them I didn't want them to have to cancel the family visits just because of me hurting my ankle. So it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any other topic you'd like me to talk about more then let me know and I will get it filmed for you and I will talk to you guys again in my next one.